In the Italian Alps on September 19, 1991, two hikers stumbled upon what appeared to be a modern-day mountaineer but was, in fact, a window into ancient humanity. This was the discovery of Ötzi the Iceman, a naturally mummified man from the Copper Age, around 3,300 BCE. Ötzi's body was found at an elevation of 3,210 meters above sea level, locked in ice that preserved his remains. His remains were remarkably well preserved, providing an unprecedented glimpse into prehistoric life. Radiocarbon dating placed Ötzi's life and death at about 5,300 years ago, making him an older relative of contemporary humans. He was named after the Ötztal Alps where he was discovered, and his discovery changed our understanding of early Europeans. At the time of his death, Ötzi was a middle-aged man, believed to be around 45 years old. Standing at 160 centimeters and weighing 50 kilograms, Ötzi was robust and well-built for his time. He had a high degree of lactose intolerance, common among Neolithic farming communities. Ötzi's brown eyes were determined through DNA analysis, which also revealed he had Lyme disease. His clothing included a bearskin cap, goatskin leggings, and a coat made from sheep and goat hides. The Iceman's shoes were waterproof and wide, filled with grass for warmth, resembling the earliest form of snow boots. Around his waist, Ötzi wore a belt with a pouch that carried tools like scrapers and drills. Among Ötzi's possessions was a copper axe with a U-handle, a significant technological advancement of the era. The copper used in his axe indicated that he might have been involved in copper smelting, a valuable skill. He also had a quiver with 14 arrows, two of which were ready to use, showing his hunting skills. Ötzi carried a flint dagger tucked in a woven sheath, practical for various tasks. The Iceman's diet was diverse. His last meal likely included red deer meat and einkorn wheat bread. Pollen found in his stomach suggested that he had traversed different altitudes and vegetation zones. Traces of charcoal on his body implied that he might have been involved in making and using fires. Ötzi had several health issues, including worn joints and degeneration, typical of an active, aging individual. He had dental problems, including cavities and tooth decay, which were common in agrarian societies. A total of 61 tattoos were counted on Ötzi's body, grouped into 19 different patterns across his skin. These tattoos may have been a form of ancient acupuncture, possibly to alleviate joint pain. The locations of tattoos on his lower back and legs correspond to strain-induced stress areas. A deep cut on his hand and a blow to the head suggested that Ötzi might have been in a fight. The fatal arrow wound on his back was a significant discovery, indicating a violent death. Ötzi's DNA revealed that he had brown hair, corroborated by the hair remnants found with him. His genetic markers show affinities with modern populations in Corsica and Sardinia. Ötzi's genome has been sequenced, offering rich information about his ancestry and the population of the time. He is the oldest known carrier of the Borrelia burgdorferi bacterium, making him the earliest known Lyme disease case. The Iceman's last moments seem to have been quite violent with evidence suggesting he was possibly fleeing. Examination of the contents of his intestines revealed that he had traveled considerable distances before his death. Study of the pollen in his digestive system allowed scientists to map his final travels through different altitudes. The arrowhead lodged in his shoulder was not his only wound. A cut artery indicated he might have bled to death. Ötzi's belongings and attire provided a wealth of information about Copper Age clothing and equipment. His retoucher tool, made of antler, was essential for sharpening his stone blades. Ötzi's body had a high fat content, suggesting he had a diet rich in energy sources. The grass, woven into his clothing and shoes, indicated a detailed knowledge of available materials and their uses. Ötzi's gut contained the eggs of whipworm, indicating he suffered from parasitic infections. Further studies showed that his last two meals were spaced four to eight hours apart. The presence of cereals in his stomach also pointed to the agricultural practices of his community. He also suffered from arteriosclerosis, a condition often associated with modern lifestyle factors. Ötzi's discovery prompted a re-evaluation of clothing technology in prehistoric times, revealing sophisticated weaving techniques. His non-local flint tools indicated that there was trade and exchange during the Copper Age. The contents of Ötzi's colon showed he had a significant meal of meat and grains before his death. The position in which Ötzi was found suggests he was resting when he died, possibly from exhaustion. 
researchers created a 3D model of Ertzi's body to study him without causing damage to the mummy. Ertzi's skin and hair provided a treasure trove of information on ancient grooming and body care practices. Studies of the isotopes in his tooth enamel revealed information about his childhood diet and geography. The Iceman's intact blood cells are the oldest complete human blood cells ever identified. Ertzi's body was moved to a research facility where it's kept at precise conditions to prevent decomposition. Visitors can view Ertzi at the South Tyrol Museum of Archaeology in Bolzano, Italy. His discovery has spurred a new field of study, glacial archaeology, which examines artifacts in ice. Each year, new technologies reveal more details about Ötzi's life and the environment he lived in. Ötzi's last journey across the Alps is a topic of much speculation and research. The forensic reconstruction of Ötzi's face allows us to look into the eyes of a man from the Copper Age. His stomach contents have helped researchers identify ancient plant species and their uses. The axe Ötzi carried is one of the oldest metal objects found in Europe, a sign of his era's innovation. The condition of Ötzi's teeth has provided clues to the diet and health of his community. Ötzi's remains have been instrumental in understanding the spread of early European agriculture. The Iceman's presence at a high altitude suggests that Copper Age people were adept at navigating challenging terrains. Analyses of the pollen grains on his clothing have given insights into the seasons and climate of the time. Ötzi's genetic lineage has contributed to the understanding of ancient European migration patterns. The discovery of Ötzi's body has posed as many questions as it has answered, keeping scientists busy for decades. His life and death offer a narrative about the daily struggles and realities of Copper Age individuals. The study of Ötzi continues to be an interdisciplinary effort, combining archaeology, paleontology, and modern genetics. Ötzi's legacy endures as each new discovery about his life adds a piece to the puzzle of human history. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching. Till next time, have a good day.